Hi, Moss here. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about uh, Andrew Huberman and uh, <clears throat> having, uh, you know, sleeping with multiple women and all that. So I thought I'd give it uh, the exponential intelligent version on why somebody would do that. Okay? And, and by the way, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just giving you the underlying reason on why Andrew uh, sleeps around with a lot of women, because that's that's the most important reason, right? The underlying reason. And and then in today's society, this is wrong, this is right, and all that bullshit. And again, none of it is true. Uh, it's the underlying reason, the underlying frequency. That's the important thing. So here we go. <clears throat> so for Andrew Huberman. There was a lot of talk that, you know, Andrew Huberman, you know, he takes all these supplements, he's just, he's virile, and he's just showing that he can maintain, you know, five women, which is, which is pretty quite impressive, you know, because that's a lot of scheduling. It's crazy, right? But, um, but, you know, and then the women that got together, it's like, one, women, what the hell are you doing feeling like victims and, oh, Andrew Huberman's a bad guy, why did you get yourself into that position in the first place? Okay? And then you still want to have, I'm sure if Andrew asked you out on a date, those same women would actually go, uh, okay. So again, what is it in you that it's allowing you to be uh, dishonored like that? Don't do that. Very, very simple. There's obviously something in you that needs that victim mentality. It's not just Andrew uh, tapping into all the five women that came up or however many women that was there in that little group. <clears throat> you all run victim patterns straight out. Again, don't do that. Uh, figure out why you're running uh, abusive patterns and clean clean yourself up, honor yourself, and go forward. And then you'll have a great relationship. Back to Andrew. Uh, again, people go, well, he's got a lot of time on his hands. He's a scientist. They don't do much. Blah, blah, blah. He's virile. He's handsome. Uh, and he is. Okay, that's great. Underlying reason? That's not the underlying reason. We need to get to the first principle reason on why <clears throat> Andrew is the way he is. First of all, Okay. Right off the bat, uh, when he was young, pretty much abused. So what he needs to do is say conquer things, conquer something. If uh, so, his mindset is that you know if I get from point A to point B, because point A is always abusive, point A is destructive, point A is dangerous. As a young kid, if I reach point B, I don't care what point B is. I need to go there, and then I'll feel safe. Okay. So think of it. Point A is dangerous, it's abusive, uh, it's not safe. As a young kid, you need to flee, you need to conquer. So you need to conquer or achieve something. So you go to point B and you go, oh, that works. So in his lifetime, especially around, say, around 12, 13, 14 years old, <clears throat> he had some great, say, breakthroughs. He had some great achievements. So that was that's his mindset. It's like, oh, you know what? This really made me feel safe. This made me feel confident. It made me feel conquer uh, <clears throat> the abuse that I had back in the day. So what does he do? He conquers more and more. Hence, he achieves more and more and more and more. And that's how he conquers or that's how he feels safe and complete. All right. So he gets very famous. Right? Fast forward, gets very famous. He, he has millions of followers, a lot of them women, obviously. And he, he builds all these special techniques to, again, create virility, create st strength, create, uh, <clears throat> uh, create abundance. Again, they're all on the precept that if I keep going to the next to the next goal and then to the next goal and to the next goal. And if I achieve, if I strengthen each time I'm going on each journey, uh, I'll be safer and more complete. Okay. That's his premise. That needs to be fulfilled all the time. All right, so the next step is, gets a lot of, again, millions of people. Uh, <clears throat> he has all the things that he needs, but he doesn't feel safe. So the next step is huge, right? He has to come up with some ingenious idea or concept to, again, ex go to the next level. Otherwise, he can't. You know, the next level of science, next level of whatever. Uh, he doesn't know how to do that. So the next best thing is, well, conquering wo women. Simple as that. Uh, the more women you conquer, in this case, the more, say, satisfied you'll feel. And then these five women will go away and then because they're not they're not making him feel safe then there's going to be another group and another group so andrew my my a 
advice to you, my friend, is to, again, conquer yourself. Start with that. And then whether you sleep around with women, you're doing it for the right reason. But most likely, you probably wouldn't need to. Probably just find that one woman that could satisfy you for the rest of your life. All right? This is Moth on Andrew Huberman. Peace.